Welcome to Dover. This small town in the southeast of the UK is the closest land point to the rest of the European Union. France stands only about 20 miles from here, which makes this small town a crucial point of entry for European goods into the UK. The port of Dover handles up to $150 billion of UK trade every year. On a daily basis, an average of 10,000 trucks cross the English Channel. This is possible because every truck is checked in approximately two minutes. However, this fast process could be about to change as the UK leaves the European Union. New regulations are likely to increase the time that it takes to check the transport of goods. The Port of Dover has estimated that even a two-minute increase in the time to process each truck coming from Europe would cause queues of over 17 miles in Dover and a similar chaos on the French side. These trucks can contain all kinds of stuff that has to move quickly. At the moment, the only checks that are done are passport controls, right? So if you are a French driver driving across the UK, your passport is checked in Calais. When you get to Dover, you just drive off. There could be some fairly significant customs checks, but also checks on specific types of product, particularly on food. Dover is not only about big trucks carrying food or car parts, it's also about the millions of foot passengers that cross the channel to build businesses, to visit their relatives, or simply to go on holiday. There could be an increase of 230% in the number of decisions that need to be taken to allow people to come into the UK. Last year alone, 2.6 million trucks entered the port of Dover, and just under 2.2 million car passengers arrived at the port. But there are growing concerns that all of these flows could be dented dramatically. The UK is set to leave the EU in March, but there are more questions than answers about their future relationship. This means that overnight, the current rules that apply to European and UK trade could cease creating trade chaos. Do you think that being outside of the EU could bring problems in specific for Dover? To start with, but then it'll all iron out in the end. What's the EU done for Dover? You've only got to come to the high street. Lorries are, all, yeah. are a worry. Yeah. Definitely. You start adding border controls to that. Dover will just seize up completely. We're here to meet with a local MP, Craig McKinley, who is also a member of the Parliament Committee examining the Brexit process. I'm increasingly uh, thinking that it's going to be a no-deal Brexit, and I've got no fears of that. The EU has a massive trade surplus of goods with the UK. If, it's, you know, if there's any blockages, it's going to hurt them equally, if not more. Uh, then it will hurt us. There's been a report from the Dover District Council that said specifically in case there's no Brexit deal, there's going to be queues. How come you're not concerned about that? I'm on that Dover District uh, board that is looking at these issues. Now let's put some of the nonsense to bed. Why would we stop any uh, traffic into the UK? We're not going to put any blockages up. There'll be no stoppage of flows of medicines or uh, foodstuffs. Why on earth would we stop that? But checking those products will just take longer. We don't have to check them. If we're happy with the quality and standards of the EU, which we are today, and we will be on the 29th of March, why would we suddenly be changing our view on the 30th of March? I think the risk of that approach is that if the global trader community sees Britain essentially refusing to do some of the, even the most basic, rudimentary customs and, and um, product checks on goods coming from the EU, they will see that as potentially discriminatory about global trade because we do do all of those kind of checks at the moment um, for anything that comes to us from outside the EU. The port and the tunnel would have to build new facilities so the transport of goods and people could continue in a smooth way. This would demand new funding, but it would also require time before the new infrastructure would be completed. The next step would be hiring more staff to work in Dover, including many more vets to examine animals crossing the channel. 
we're a country that can stand on our own, so it, there's no need to rely on others. I think that Brexit is ultimately going to be a mistake. Europe's got too much power. I think it's stupid because foreign people do the jobs some English people don't like to do. You think that it would be better to be outside of the European Union? Yeah, definitely, yeah. And why is that? Um, I'm literally like the worst person. I don't know. Time is running short before the UK officially leaves the European Union. And yet, people here in Dover are still divided when it comes to Brexit. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to watch more of our videos, click here. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.